everyone, welcome to Definition Ale. I'm Stephen Rich and this is Real Beer. And this is a big bottle of Real Beer. Today we've got the Muskoka Winter Beard in front of me. Uh, this is the second year that Muskoka has launched this beer. Uh, in 2010 it was launched as the Double Chocolate Cranberry Stout. It still is the Double Chocolate Cranberry Stout, just it's got new branding. It's got this beautiful and sexy gentleman on the front with this big glorious beard. Uh, but as you can see, it still is the double chocolate cranberry stout. So it's uh, an imperial stout. It's 8%. Uh, it is brewed with uh, real cocoa powder as well as 70% um, dark chocolate and locally harvested cranberries. Uh, so two forms of chocolate and cranberries, double chocolate stout, plus I'm sure lots of dark roasted grains. Um, beautiful beer for this time of season. I love the packaging. Uh, these beautiful 750 ml swing top bottles are great. Uh, the beer is available at the LCBO for the season only, um, as well as here and there in pubs and restaurants on draft when and where you can find it. So let's open her up and see how she is. Well, it definitely looks the part. Yeah, it's pretty much perfectly black. There's, yeah, there's absolutely no light coming through it, so it's pitch black. The head is nice, dense, very tight, little tiny bubbles. Uh, it's nice and like marshmallowy on top. It's got this cocoa brown, kind of mocha brown color, a little bit into like the dark tan. Really pretty looking beer, and to be very honest, I can smell it from here. Oh yeah, it's. It's like, um, it's like a hot chocolate kind of aroma. It's that uh, dark cocoa, bittersweet cocoa kind of character. Very dark chocolate all over here. Hints of like roasted malt, uh, touches of smoke. I do get a little bit of a sweet sensation. I, I couldn't say cranberry. If I said cranberry, I'd just be saying it because the bottle says that. But there's definitely um, like sweet fruit into like those berry reminiscent fruits on there. But in general, the nose is potent with dark malt characteristics, that touch of smoke, um, but lots of chocolate, lots of cocoa. There's even a bit of a, yeah, a bit of an espresso, dry espresso bean kind of character leaning into coffee. But in general, lots of roasty sensations, very pretty on the nose, uh, not too potent. It's actually very smooth. 8%, um, let's, uh, let's see how she is. Oh yeah, hmm. A lot more sweetness coming out of the palate than there was in the nose. Instantly, instantly it's cranberry. It's cranberry and like into raspberries and cherries in there. But there's chocolate all over. There's a dark malt sensation, which is again, leaning on roasty, a uh, little bit of coffee and espresso, a uh, little bit into like a sweet caramel, like dark, dark brown sugar type caramel in there. But in general, lots of chocolate. Chocolate across the top, into the back. Uh, it's not very hoppy, so there's not a lot of bitterness in the beer overall. Um, but it's not big and sweet and cloying. Mm, I think the bitterness, which is soft and relaxing, is coming from the use of dark malt. Think of chocolate. Think of like 70% cocoa. It's got that bitter sensation to help it, help it be palatable and not just candy. And that's what this is. This is a savory, beautiful, chocolatey sensation, not a candy sensation, which I'm actually really enjoying. Mm -hmm. Lots of layers in here. I'm getting a little bit of black licorice as well now. Again, toffee, dark chocolate caramel is kind of fading in towards the back of my mouth, under my tongue. I'm gonna just keep enjoying this if you don't mind. Mm -hmm. The cranberry is coming out. It's not necessarily coming out as distinctly cranberry, but I'm getting cranberry, little bits of cherry, and not strawberry, but um, any sort of red field berry, something like uh, uh, the cranberry, I guess, makes sense, but I'm getting a little bit of raspberry as well. It's this nice, subtle sweetness 
and it's coming in the back that's not like big sticky malt sweetness. It's fresh, it's elegant, it's nice light fruit sweetness. It's actually really delicious. Mm. Overall great beer. Uh, I took this out about 20 minutes ago, uh, let it warm. It's around 10 or 12 degrees Celsius. You don't want this too cold, too cold straight out of the fridge. It's just gonna be cold and roasty and probably really refreshing but you're gonna lose a lot of the beautiful chocolate sensations that are in here. There's a lot of smooth chocolate. It's not bitter, it's not peeling away at my mouth. It's not overly potent, it's surprisingly drinkable. This is uh, actually gonna be really dangerous, uh, especially over the coming holiday days, uh, just next week. Uh, I'll probably have a lot of these. Yeah, beautiful right now. This is going to go well with so many foods. I mean, even right into your appetizers, this with cheeses is going to be great. Soft, uh, even stinky cheeses, stuff that's like a really melty brie is going to be great. Blue cheeses are going to be really nice. They're going to match the roasty kind of sweet characteristics in here. Anything salty too is going to match the chocolatey, roasty sensations. Uh, you know, grilled meats, red meats are going to be fantastic. You can have this with your holiday dinners, but desserts. Desserts are going to be fantastic. Obviously, chocolate and vanilla cakes, anything like that. I'm thinking about rum cake as well. Um, a whole sensation of desserts are going to be fantastic with this beer, but I'll probably just sit here and enjoy it alone. Cheers.